Today's lesson is for my beginner buddies out there who've asked, are my hands too small to play this darn thing? So if you're just starting out, you've probably, like anybody else, experienced the feeling that you can't make those stretches on the frets and you're wondering if your hands are just too small to, to play bar chords properly or stretch out for leads or whatever it is that you're trying to do. And everybody feels this way, probably even people with some pretty big giant hands because it's just all uncomfortable when you first start playing. And what I'm going to give you today uh, is an exercise that really helps you stretch out and start to feel more confident and gets your hands in good shape to play the guitar uh, sooner rather than later. So the first exercise is a very simple hammer on pull off thing that you're going to use to get your fingers uh, used to stretching out across the frets. And we're going to start, we won't start down at the first fret where it's the most difficult. We'll start say up on the fifth fret and you're going to with your first and second finger, just do simple hammer-ons, about 10 of them. So you're just gonna go from the fifth to the sixth fret and you're just gonna go about seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times. Just do it a little bit, take a breather for a second. Same fingers now, you're gonna do fifth and seventh fret. Now when you start, it's gonna be very uncomfortable, but that's the point, you're gonna get better at this over time, so you have to work on it. And you're just going to hit that. Nothing very musical going on here, but it's good exercise. You don't even have to be plugged in to do it. And then if you're feeling real adventurous, you can try to stretch three frets with just that first finger. And that's even uncomfortable for me, but it's going to teach you something and it's going to really get your hands into shape. Now you're going to repeat the same thing, but with your first and your third finger. Third finger. Oh, well, that looks like I'm giving you the finger. Sorry about that. Now you're just going to do the same thing. 5th and 7th fret, then 5th and 8th, then 5th and ninth if you can reach it, it's a stretch, that's really hard, and then you're going to do it again, 1st and 4th finger, so your 1st finger and your pinky, and it's going to be, you can do it to the 5th and 7th if you want, this one's going to be real hard when you start because your pinky's not strong yet, then to the 8th, then to the ninth. Okay, and this is probably something uh, other people may have showed you or you would have thought of before where, where it gets a little bit different for me or where I go a little bit more in depth with my students and help them really build that strength is we're not just going to do it with the combination of the first finger and the other fingers. Now you're going to do this starting with the second finger as the low one and do second and third. So it'll be this. And this is going to be real uncomfortable when you start. Five, six, five, seven. Might be able to do 5-8, I don't think I can reach it, but let me tell you, that's tough. There's not going to be pretty much anything that you need to play to be good, where you need to stretch from your second to third finger three frets, so don't worry about it. And then you're going to repeat the exercise again, guess what? Third and fourth fingers, these two. This is going to be really uncomfortable. And man, when you build this up, these two fingers, that's going to really help you get strong. Now I do that on the just the first string. Um, eventually, as you build strength, you want to do it on the first string, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, all the way to the last string. And the reason you do this is it teaches you where your thumb has to be on the back of the neck. Because when you're up on the high strings, your thumb is up here to be comfortable. As you work your way up towards the low strings, your thumb has to go around behind the neck. And I'm gonna have to, uh, I'll take a picture of that so you can see what it looks like. And the position of your thumb is going to make it easier or more difficult to do what you're trying to do there. Uh, now, the other thing is that you don't want to do this for very long at a stretch. You might just do, like, uh, like I said, eight or nine, maybe ten of those each, and then stop. Don't do it again uh, for a while. Maybe you do it two or three times a day whatever it is that you're playing, practicing, you're randomly picking up the guitar while you're watching TV, whatever it is. But you don't want to like develop tendonitis or anything. And also, uh, you will, the muscle memory and your ability to, to get better at it and stretch out is actually, it's counterproductive if you do it for too many minutes in a row. You just want about 10, 15 minutes of it and then stop, do something else and come back to it later. And like I said, a couple times a day. And that's where you're picking up. So uh, the answer to your question is that no, your hands are not too small to play guitar. I have had students with like 
well, when they're kids, like, you know, you see six, seven, eight year old kids with very small hands do some pretty amazing things on the guitar. Um, you may not be able to play certain stretches that other guitar players can, but there is a world of music that you can play within the limits of very small hands. So I wouldn't worry about it. You're going to build up the strength and build up the stretch and the confidence to play, uh, whatever it is that you're looking to play. And just by doing these exercises, when you first start learning the guitar, you'll be fine within a couple months, everything will be comfortable as long as you're doing it a few times a day. So that's my beginner tip for today, guys. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments or need to see anything else, please let me know below. And until next time, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.